Good morning, YouTube world. Um, I'm sure I am not the face that you expected to see in this intro. Uh, but Ian is stuck in Gitmo without any Wi-Fi right now. So um, I am going to be sitting here on the porch. I got mullet, got my coffee, and editing uh, this catfish limb line video for him. Uh, we did this a while ago. It's a little bit of an older video. Um, still good. Really fun. As you can imagine, it was the first time I've ever done it. I thought he was crazy for this. Um, I was like, I don't know that that's going to work. We set him out overnight. Um, it was pretty successful and I don't know, um, watch the video, see what you think. And, uh, I think we're definitely going to do it again. And if anyone has like tips or tricks or pointers, you know, leave them in the comments for us. Um, even just like different ways to cook them. We're always looking for good recipes. So we end up frying ours in this video and having friends over. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think and if you think we should go do it again. So we went limb lining for some catfish in St. John's River and this is how it went. We had set out a total of 20 limb lines overnight for about a 12 hour soak. And this is the first one we pulled up to. So as you can imagine, we were pretty excited to see we had a fish on. <laughs> First one. <laughs> Are you happy? First line, baby. <laughs> That's a good start. It's the first one. You have 20 out there. What was that one on? Mullet? That was a piece of cut mullet. Nice. He's been on there all night. Nothing. Shoot him, Elizabeth. There is nothing. <laughs> No bait. No bait. bait. All right, I think we got one up here. <laughs> see how you could see you could see the line; it's leading away. I don't know though; it might be tangled. It might just be tangled in the branch. Plus the current. It's strong here. Yeah. All right, back up. Oh, there's a fish on there. Got a fish? Yeah. Nice. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, bring the camera over here. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, come on. I need help. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> That's Woo! the biggest one yet. <laughs> he was about to come off. Hey, Mullet, you want some catfish nuggets? Get a video of this. I want them to see. I'm still recording. We use circle hooks. These are 8-0 circle hook, and it gets them in the corner of the mouth. I got about 15 inches. Then I got a barrel swivel and an ounce of lead. Now, if I had it to do over again, I would bump this up a little bit. I'd maybe go two ounces. What was that one on? Uh, that was on a live bait, I think. On the, one of those croakers? It was, on a huge live croaker. He was a hungry boy. Hey, mullet, you checking the lines? I got one on here. <laughs> Where'd he go? 
Where is it, mullet? We got a tree shaker. It's right here. Got your bait too. And this one. That was a head. Oh. Hold on to the branch. Trying not to get hit by the tree. Damn, they ate every little bit of that. That was about a piece of half a mullet, about that big. Did he pull that whole tree down? Oh. Huh. Look at the line. Oh. There's a big one on there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He was wrapped around that stuff. You gotta clear him. All right, there you go. Another monster. How in the world did he do that? Another monster. Alright. This is why you gotta be careful of debris in the water. You can see where a catfish has ate that bait but then he's gone and wrapped himself around something and broke off. Sean here. The little one, if it's one at all. This was a deep one. Oh, he's on there. <laughs> he just realized I'm pulling on him. <laughs> Look at him. Just a little guy. Smallest one of the morning. That'd be a good one to eat though. See right in the corner of the mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat the pliers. We got back to the house with five big catfish. Decided to weigh the biggest one, which came in at 10 pounds. Check that out. All right, guys, we're back at the house. I'm uh, cutting this catfish up. We're gonna fry it up. We got some people coming over and I wanna show you what is most important. A lot of people say catfish doesn't taste good, um, but you gotta trim it out right. See all this red right here? and any little bit of white on the edges, you gotta trim it all out real good. I would say, when in doubt, trim it out. So I'll take that center line out like that, and then this red like that, I'll take it and just almost reverse fillet it off. Trim all that off, and what you end up with this beautiful white meat like this. All right, so I'm gonna fry this catfish up. It's all trimmed out and clean. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soak it in my favorite hot sauce, which is crystals. And uh, I'll soak it in this hot sauce, just enough to, to moisten it all. And then I'll let it soak in there for about an hour and I'll roll it in my fish fry and fry it up. Catch clean Got cook. Fried yeah. catfish, blue crabs. Mm -hmm. Nolan, what you think? Is that good stuff? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the end of the video. Um, 
I hope I did a fairly decent job at filling in for Mr. Tug Trash. Um, it was really funny actually the other day somebody said to me, you're basically Mrs. Tug Trash now and um, I mean, not yet. <laughs> uh, but all seriousness aside, uh, like, subscribe, comment, share, do all the things. Um, tell your friends, tell your family, and uh, Ian will be back for the next one. <laughs> Bye!